renewal of love or a new love coming in. Um, from what I read, Neptune and Venus will be very close together and this is what will be affecting that energy. So I'm going to do a love reading here. This may be for someone new coming in or a resurgence of love or even just a new person within your lover. Okay. Because a lot of people are changing and going through shifts right now. So this will be the version of my six card. Um, I don't know why I'm pulling out these cards already. Let's see what's coming up here. So this is about a new beginning. This is about a new beginning, possibly with someone who already does hold your heart. Um, so that's really interesting that this is coming up. And I feel like I'm going to just free flow with this message. So we have a masculine energy that is looking to come in. And it looks like they're looking to make an offer of something that will be solid. But the thing I get right off of, you know, in my mind, like, look at this person is they have dreams to make an offer that's solid, but they're still quite young. And it's still like a fresh dream, right? So this can go any way. And with the grace energy, this is the star card energy here. I really feel that this person actually does know you for many of you. Um, this person actually already, you already hold this person's heart. This person already has held your heart. But there has been an issue here where it looks like the female has kind of drifted away and kind of departed this situation. So we'll see where this is going. Okay. So someone could be an Aquarius here. Someone could be uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or just taking on those energies, right? Okay, so here we go. Yeah, definitely. This is the Sun card. So this person is coming back into your life. This is going to be a surprise to some of you because this is the Awakening card. This is Cupid and Psyche. Um, these are two lovers having a reunion. And it's initiated by the looks of it, by this Prince of Pentacles energy, this person coming in. And it's probably someone coming in, having an apology and saying, hey, like, I'm back. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I, you never, something about like this person always hold us, held a spot for you or you always had their heart. Um, I do feel that you've been waiting for this to happen. Or if you haven't been waiting, because some of you haven't even at all but it's continually crossing your mind and you were like be at work or wherever like how did this happen why did this happen um you see in the background there's that masculine energy like he's on your mind or was on your mind um but i feel like you just dug into your work someone's name maybe penelope here or elizabeth you just dug Beatrice, I'm seeing as well. You just dug into your work and tried to stay focused on that. Otherwise, you probably would have got swept up in your emails. So this is about the return. You know, I'm going to do different readings here, and I'm going to do an extended after. But we're going to start with this message. So this is the Six of Staves. The person may be coming in, that's coming in. Uh, maybe a little bit cocky, maybe quite confident. This person may have a family or an established situation of another kind, whether it be a business, something they've invested in. Um, this person is feeling very proud, ready, able to come in. Now, I mean, okay, well, it's nice that it came in the reverse, but it is the three of swords. Like this person is coming back after they have caused heartache. And it looks like whatever heartache they caused, it could have been from them literally having to leave. For some of them, they were searching for something else, whether it be a person or um, just an opportunity. But this person wants to come in. And I feel like they want to apologize. I feel like they want to come in quickly. Um, let's see what else. Because I want to know, does this person want to um, actually... So it looks as though this person has left a commitment. This may be the reason why they're able to come in now, um, why they're able to express what's happened, because we do have the Hierophant in reverse with the top card here. 
So this person really has left something. There is a fresh start to this person. That's why they're coming across so young. Um, this person may look at you as being way out of their league as well, though I do feel that they still have the confidence to come forward, okay? So this is new moon energy for the collective. Virgo new moon in the sign of Pisces. Um, but it does look going to be a wish coming true here. We have the death card. So this is about a resurgence or a re a resurgence. Sure, that's a great way to put it. Um, a renewal. A renewal is what I'm getting. This is the same female. I see, feel like you may have really had this person on your mind, but you kind of let them go is what I'm getting. Um, I feel like you may have even saw this person on the street at times and just walked right by them. It's very possible or just kind of like nodded your head and not even got into it. I also feel like the female here um, is getting a wish, okay? Whether you know exactly what this wish is, because it could be many, um, because maybe in your mind you were like, no, I don't want that back. I don't want that situation again. Um, but it looks like it is coming in, okay? This person is at least coming back. It's up to you. Are you going to accept them? Because so far, I'm not really seeing too much of that. I think what's on your mind is that this could happen again. Yeah, we have the death card here again. Though you do desire this person with the chariot energy, you really desire them. You have a deep fear that this person will do exactly what they did before. Get up and leave out of nowhere. That's pretty much what I'm getting from this vibe. Um, boom, gone, right? Because the funny thing is, is like this person's coming back in and I don't know, I think it triggers you right away because you just, even though things have changed with this person, um, I think you're like, wait, like, what are you doing here? You know, you just left or, or you left and, and now what? So the princess of cups in reverse. So I do feel that this person's returning. Um, but on the female side, there is a lot of fear here. There is a lot of memories of the past, the devil card on the in, on the bottom, memories of what you went through. And I'm almost feeling like of what you were dragged through. Like you felt like, you, you know, you were just dragged through a really tumultuous, I know it's not a word, don't correct me, uh, situation, okay? There still is a wish coming in. The problem is, is that I see your, the female here is, is fearful that it's still a reminder of the, it's still the past. Um, it's really important to see like past that fear. But let's see what else is happening here. So what else does the divine feminine need to know? Because I do feel this bottom row here is about the divine feminine. So we do have this innocent, um, this full energy, this new beginning coming in, and it's coming in quick. Um, technically, you're ready for this. I see you just sitting calmly, though. As much as you wanted this, or you are like really kind of excited about this, you also have a lot going for you at this time. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So you're like, yeah, this is everything I knew would happen. Eventually, like if I just took care of myself, something great was going to come in. Um, and what you're getting, it's not, this is not a reading for someone new. This is a reading for someone returning. Maybe the next part of the reading will be for someone new. Uh, but no, this is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is someone returning after leaving you out in the cold. Okay. So let's get one more message from this deck. What will happen? What is this person's truest feelings towards the divine feminine? So the masculine to the feminine, and then we'll do the feminine to the masculine. So masculine to the feminine, we have the king of cups. This person um, is missing the heck out of you. This person's name may be Mark. Um, this person is wondering where, what, where you are, what you've done, if you're still on their mind, if they're still on your mind. Um, so the masculine is coming up as a king of cups, three of pentacles, someone who works hard, but it's really about them wondering if whatever happened in the past maybe it was three years ago three months ago doesn't have to be at all but they're wondering if you're still thinking about them and the funny thing is you are you are oh, look what's at the bottom the queen of cups so i do feel we have a divine connection here and i do feel that you are um thinking about this reunion but i see also that you're not in communication this can be because you've chosen to just 
walk away energetically in a sense, like you are thinking about it, but in your memories, you've just created this thing where you're just like, I did the best thing by separating. So the theme, the divine feminine energy, let's just get one more card for that because I, you are coming up as the queen of cups. Um, so we have the sacrifice here and I do see Cupid. So I do feel uh, on this card here, I do feel Though you invested a lot in this situation, right now at this point, the Divine Feminine is really on the fence. Um, and also I'm getting an energy that you might say, okay, like if he comes, he comes. If not, no, like, you know, he doesn't. Um, I'll be fine no matter what. And if he comes and he chooses to walk away, he can go. Or maybe I'll walk away first. This is what I'm getting here. Because this masculine has actually really hurt you. And I do feel that they they know and think about that a lot. They think about the loss of this love connection. Okay. So the feminine is prepared to take um, a leave. It really is what's going on. And uh, the masculine is just honestly broken hearted about this and unsure how to approach this situation. Okay. So what has happened between the two of... Uh, these people I just want one card for that like energetically what do we got going on here the five of swords in ref in refeat in reverse and it is defeat is the energy so I feel like you know um, at least the feminine for sure has kind of just given up on this energy because they don't want to feel like they're continually trying to paint the picture of being happy when they're really truly it's not what they want. Um, they want that love. They want that happy picture, but really they feel like it's kind of gray and dark, right? So I'm also seeing here the strength and the three of swords sticking out and I just feel like you know, someone here really just wants to stop trying and stop putting energy into this um, because they don't seem to be getting the return. Okay, so what else is happening here? This is a new moon energy. So what's going to happen here? Like for right now for this new moon, it looks like someone here because it says someone's coming back, but it also says like this may not happen because the feminine um may have fears but this person is coming back but the feminine doesn't want to put a struggle um anymore that's what i'm getting here so what else what will happen how will this you know i want to say will this turn around so we do have the magician and the fool this is actually about someone giving a chance here the nine of pentacles um somewhat of a chance i feel like it's a giving a chance but with doubt. And therefore, if you're going to give this person a chance with doubt, I can pretty much guarantee your old fears will come back up and haunt you uh, materially. Like they'll actually come back and haunt you. So can't do it with doubt. Um, just a suggestion, right? The 10 of pentacles, because there's a lot of memories that someone has still not let go of. So when this is coming in, I really suggest you clear your vibe first before making any decisions because I do feel that this person does want to make a difference. I see King of Wands here. Um, they most likely also want to apologize for all the confusion they caused for making you an option. Um, interesting. And we have the Queen of Wands. So you and this person truly, like there really is this energy of a great match, but you're both not talking to each other right now or not seeing this right now or not like communicating this right now. Um, you may be in different time zones at this time, or you may still just be clearing up fears. And I do think it's the both of you, but I do see that this person absolutely sees you as the perfect match for them. Um, here we have the emperor, someone stable, someone trustworthy, someone who they could actually build a legacy with. This person wants a new beginning with you that's coming in. Um, now, as for, what is this? Let me see. Okay. Oh, well, that's coming is flipping all over but I just want to say this as for if there was a second party or another person that is gone um as in like 
it is over. It's this person is releasing it, but I do feel because of the extended I saw, this person is still going through a lot of emotional turbulence, right? So let's see what else is happening here. For the new moon energy, what can we say is coming in? And you know, I know sometimes the readings just drive people crazy because it's like, it's coming in, but it looks shitty. <laughs> and I'm not saying it looks shitty. I'm just saying it's coming in, but it's not easy, okay? Four of Wands, unity. It's not, it's coming in, but we have the three of wands at the bottom here. This is about patience. So this may take some time. This may take until October with that pumpkin there. Why is the pumpkin in, in the reading? This is not a, ter a, a Halloween deck, but I see the skeletons there too. Um, four of wands. This is the problem though, is that this girl is actually, it looks like she's sitting in a cemetery. So this almost needs to go through some sort of a, a, quite a cycle. I'm almost feeling like you have to get to the judgment card, which is right before the world card, which is right at the end, right? Um, so I'm not sure what spot you're in right now. The highest major card we have here is only the emperor four and the four of wands, right? This four energy. Um, but getting to the judgment is number 20. So there still may be some time here. That may be why the patience is needed because there does there is a need for a full ending here with the Ten of Swords. Um, finality. Finale, right? Finality. So they're asking you to have patience while an ending happens. And this is when, I feel like when the judgment card comes in, what do we have here? The moon, 18, you know, we're almost getting there. When the judgment card comes in, things can fully be realized and um, I guess worked on. you know something it has to really die and then i'm almost getting like not only does it have to die then it has to get revived this is a whole operation that's needed for the freaking hospital here and with the specialist like this is gonna take time that's what i'm getting guys detach it's meant you're meant to detach during this time of patience because i think you're meant to get ready for this really to be honest um during this time of waiting, you are meant to detach. I really feel like something great will happen. And we do have the sun here. Okay. And the eight of pentacles. Um, this is someone coming in and wanting to work on this. Wanting to do this again. And I see the king of pentacles here. This is about a king of pentacles energy coming in and wanting to make... Um, I'm getting make amends, but there's patience here. Like this person first has to break free. This person does see you as their divine match. You really like this person wants to build a foundation with you. Um, but definitely four of wands, three of wands, 10 of swords. You don't get the four of wands until this 10 of swords happens. That's what I'm getting here. What is the Ten of Swords about? And by the way, I'm going to say the Ten of Swords is next to the Ten of Pentacles. So it's an ending in that marriage. But we already see that the marriage has ended, but there could still clearly be a connection. Um, heartstrings, right? Heartstrings. So look what's coming. What flipped over. We have two. Oh, wow. We have the Devil. Is this the Devil? No, it's the Tower with the Ace of Swords. So what this is about is someone like, really needing to um, say something that will change everything here. And I feel like what it is, is obviously with the tower energy, like we already had the tower, it came out in the extended as well. Um, you know, we already had the tower there and the tower in the extended was really interesting because it was just a pile of rubble. Um, so this person really just has to cut this free, cut this off and bring it down in order to get to that sun energy. What is the feminine going to do here? Five of wands. Uh, the wheel of fortune and the page of cups. I feel like really the feminine here is just going to focus on loving themselves. I didn't even see that, but that's more about it. Um, the, the feminine here is going to separate herself 
from the drama, once again, from anything that's bothering her, um, and focus on change, and in, including changes in love. So I think the feminine here is really right now in this vibe where they're feeling like, you know what, I'll get a new love, I'll take a new love, or I'll wait and something new will come in. But there's a lot going on behind the scenes. A lot. So one more card for this situation. Four of Swords in reverse. So this is about someone waking up to the fact that you are the one that they truly want. Okay. Now, if you're going to take it, that's another situation because, um, and you may, you may take it, but I see like you want love, right? But you might be like, I'm going to get my own love. I'm gone. It took you too long for some of you. So it's a really interesting vibe. There's going to be a lot of changes happening here um, during this moon. Let's get a card. Pull some of these on the extended too, but let's get one for the feminine. How the feminine's feeling. Because in the extended, I only did the masculine. Yeah, the feminine has a lot on her mind. I can guarantee that. Let's just narrow it down to one card, maybe two. Okay. <clears throat> It's interesting. Okay. So I know what I said was hurtful. I truly didn't mean it and would do anything to take you to take it back. I was making a big deal out of something that just isn't that important. I want to let it go. I personally feel like this is the feminine kind of when the masculine comes back saying, I want to be with you. The feminine kind of being like, I'm sorry for what I did. I want to take it back. I don't want to hurt you. Um, I don't like, you know, it wasn't even important. I just want to let it go because I think a lot of the feminines have kind of moved on. So in my, what I'm picking up here is this, you kind of, this is you kind of being nice to the masculine and being um, kind, you know, you're just being kind to this masculine and just saying, Hey, you know what? We made a mistake. This wasn't meant to happen because the feminines are worried about a repeat. So all I got to say is if you're worried about a repeat, you're going to get a repeat. You're absolutely right. What you expect will happen. So that's sad because, yeah, because this person, I do think that they've woken up to what they've done, four of cups in reverse, to the trickery energy, and they realize now that you are their world, you are their happiness, and they want to have, uh, you know, something with you, and they're hoping to renew that. But the feminine is like, he gave me crumbs for this feminine. Okay, guys. So you can watch the extended for the first part on Patreon. Otherwise, um, I don't feel that this part I'm going to do an extra extended on. Like, I just feel like the feminine is right now energetically with this new moon. It's like you want a new opportunity. It's like you're done. You're done. I'm kicking the games to the curb. I'm kicking anything to the curb that doesn't suit me. I want the real deal. Ace of Pentacles. I want the fulfilling uh, situationship. So what will be coming? Let's just pull one more card from a totally different deck. Actually, let's use this deck. Final message, what will be coming? Whoa. So it's a period of rest and rejuvenation. One thing I do like, or I, I don't know, because it's at the bottom of the deck, and I feel like actually it's because this situation is kind of taking a break. It's a very special connection, but it's really time to um, just think about things. This is Four of Swords energy. This could be you allowing your person to take time to think about what they've done you know, and have uh, have some thoughts on that. But for the feminine, I just want to get specific with the feminine because I feel like, you know, you're kind of, just because I saw that extended. So I just want to know why I, I did the extended. One more for the feminine. Sacral chakra and material harvest. Um, you know what? The, what I just get from that is that the feminine's energy is a, a lot of confidence and they're realizing money isn't everything. Um, and especially something about like they've invested a lot 
and it kind of didn't pan out how they thought it would, how the feminines would. So the feminines kind of letting that go, saying I can do it again, I can do whatever I want, um, having the confidence to take care of myself. And yeah, that's what's happening right now. It just is what it is, guys. Um, this is not for everyone. If you want a personal reading, please do get one. Um, but this is an energy right now, and it does, it does, it does have. There's something to it. There is an energy right now. Okay, this is the in the Pisces energy. I do feel like Piscean, the sign of Pisces is very um, connected, very psychic energy. And then we have right now Virgo coming in there right? Virgo is a hermit card, by the way. This is really coming to decisions about things or having at least the time to really think about things. And it looks like there's a lot to think about here. And it actually looks like the feminine has already been thinking about things. And it looks like the masculine has gone through a whole lot, especially because of the extended I saw. So anyhow, guys, thank you so much. I will see you soon. Bye for now.